is up toasters my name is toasty today i'm going to show you how to set up stream labs with your stream so you can start earning money from your streams and donations and have your alerts from your subscribers and all that kind of good stuff so this is really good because it's the first time that i'm actually doing this for my own tr stream so we're going to do this together um, and i'm going to do it right from the beginning like from scratch so i can show you guys how to do everything so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this link um, it is called uh, streamlabs.com and you're gonna hit login to get started uh, and it's gonna link with your stream uh, your twitch account so I'm just gonna click on that and then it's gonna bring you to this page like as you can see I have zero donations zero revenue because I am doing this for the first time for you guys um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna download you're gonna click on stream labels and hit uh, Windows or Mac depending on which one you are um, I'm on a Windows computer, so I clicked that and I'm gonna do a quick virus scan for you guys because I don't I've never used this file before so I want to make sure it's safe um, So I just download it right here. I'm gonna down go to virus total and scan it. Okay, so it looks clean I have no problem Continuing this tutorial and installing it. All right, so we're gonna see so we're gonna cl click on Windows We downloaded it. We're gonna open it up right now. It's gonna hit run and it says it is installing created a shortcut somewhere okay so if this popped up uh, I'm gonna hit connect with my twitch all my stuff keeps opening up on my other monitor so I'm wondering if it would just be easier to uh, log in from there so I'm just typing my information definitely don't spell your username wrong because then it won't work um, so what you're gonna do now is uh, which was to do this new folder uh, call it stream labs and then hit directory to go to stream labs select folder so now it'll fill up this with all these text files so now I gotta go I gotta go and delete all these now so that's kind of a pain okay so We've done that, and now it'll it'll come up with this little thing. You want to make sure you keep this uh, keep this up. Um, get rid of the message board. Um, so there's that, and this is gonna tell you like people who have followed you and people who have donated to you, all that kind of stuff, and it's gonna have it just like that. So now that you've done that, you can go into your Streamlabs like this, and we're gonna start setting up the donations tab. So for the dashboard right now, uh, you have to get your payment methods active. So to do that, you just click on this and it's gonna ask for your PayPal and your bank account and you have to fill that out um, and so you can get verified. Um, your tip link and profile, you have to, you just add your tip link into your profile basically like how, when you want people to start tipping you, you can just add it like right in here. You can post it or you can edit and add it in there. Um, or right here you can edit and you can oh no not there not there you want to click this one and edit and add it in there um, but this is like the main thing that you're gonna want to do um, the first thing that I always do is I have a donation goal so a monthly stream goal for July 2017 which is this uh, I set it for six hundred dollars uh, current amount is zero days remaining I have 12 because I'm doing this today it's already like halfway through the month um, you can do a follower goal um, this is just like a sample you want to gain this so I'm going to say like a uh, follower goal July 2017 monthly I'm going to say I want to gain uh, 1,000 followers starting with zero I guess I'm starting with three because I have three subscribers and after and I want to end it on the 30th so there you go now you're gonna have this and that's gonna pull up on your profile so you get a monthly follower goal now so there's that um, then the like I said there's your stream labels you have the donation tracker you have a chat box so when people chat in your um, in your thing it'll kind of look something like this and then you have your event list which you can post like updates for your subscribers and all that kind of stuff and your wish list so the first thing we're gonna do is go to your alert box which is this and you're gonna get this special um, URL you're gonna just click on that and it's gonna have this right here which is your like your Streamlabs alert box 
all that kind of thing. So you're gonna wanna copy this link and you're gonna hit launch and it's gonna pop up with this green, um, green text box or whatever. So you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna go into here and where it says uh, Streamlab, you're gonna wanna make a new one and hit browser and call it Streamlab Alerts. That's what I've done right here. So um, it's gonna pop up like this and you're and it's gonna have like a the Stream Studios link here, but you're gonna wanna copy and paste the link that you get from this. Copy and paste this link right here to your uh, URL. And you don't wanna share this with anybody. You just wanna leave it just like that and click OK. So then when that pops up, you're gonna have like the sample stuff. So you can go to uh, test, here I'll just put this right here so you guys can see. You hit, so now if you hit stuff like uh, follows and you wanna hit test to follow, it's gonna pop up right there and it's gonna pop on the screen screen right here, but the green screen is gonna get edited out and you'll just see the notification here. So that's pretty cool. Um, and you can hit test subscriptions and it's always gonna say like, blah, 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 has subscribed to the Toast Army and you can change all this and to change it, so here's your general settings, your background color is gonna be green because that's what you're keyframing off of, a uh, chroma keying off. And my alert delay is five seconds. You don't need to have an alert delay. I just choose to have one, um, just saves lag. Um, for your followers, this is the setup I have, it fades in, fades out, and then you're gonna hit like the name of the person, which is this, has joined the Toast Army, or it'll say like has followed your Twitch account or whatever, and you have like text effects that you can use, and your sound, mine's just the default sound, and then your GIF, and I created my own GIF, which is like the Toast thing, so I have all that kind of stuff. Um, you can have alert variations and font settings so you can change the font which I have done I've changed it to red and it's normally like a green color and then variations you can add like if you um, let's see condition ran I guess randomly is the condition so it'll just randomly have variations of it if you want to add different kind of follow gifts and all that um, subscriptions is a little uh, different for this is for like the YouTube and um, there's like the alert variations for this too and you can just like it randomly month subscribed is a, in least amount and then month subscribed so if some, somebody's been subscribed for multiple months you can have variations for that but I never get into that because it's kind of like it's not really necessary um, donations is a big one so um, for this one they're gonna get this if they donate um, and it's gonna make a cash register cha-ching like a nice cha-ching sound um, I can just show you like if I hit test donation it's gonna look like that and it's see it's changed to like a green now um, I also have variations for this so if somebody donates five dollars it's gonna look like this very loud a different different gif and it says like has donated more than five dollars hashtag yeah boy and medium donor is this one So bank rolls, it's very big on the screen. This is what it looks like on the uh, on the corner there. You can see that it just pops up right there. It's pretty small, but uh, yeah, so that's if they donate 10 or more dollars. So you can add cool little variations and all that kind of stuff. The hosts is basically if you host a new stream and bits is like another way for people to donate. I think it's like 100 bits equals $1. So, um, I don't have an alert variation for this. It's just like default, de 100 bits, 1,000 bits, 5,000, 10,000. It's, it's pretty much just the same. And then it just has like these, these cool little, uh, these cool little gems for people to donate. We can also, if they just test the bits for like the regular bit, it's got my uh, special toast if they're donating uh, more than one. So there's that. Um, super, 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 super simple. Um, now I'm gonna bring it over to the your OBS to show you how to set it up with like um, your I'm trying to think of the word your uh, banners so for mine you can see that it has like the top donator thing right there um, to change that or to set that up all you have to do I'm gonna just do it again from scratch you're gonna hit add text GDI plus I'm gonna call my top donor click OK 
You can change the font, you can do all that. I like to change mine to uh, this one, which is like the font that I normally use for most things. Bada boom, looks, looks like this, it's kind of nice. And read from file, this is important. You're gonna click on read on file, hit browse, and find where your, um, find where your Streamlabs is, which, would, which is where all my stuff is. Streaming, Streamlabs, and now you're gonna find top donator. So, um, all time top donor, that's this one right here. Just click open and you can select the color. I'm gonna, my, I like the, the white color. Um, and then everything else is pretty much just fine the way it is. And it's gonna pop up in this corner right here. So, if you want to test it, um, just go to where your Streamlabs is. Mine's gonna be right here. Go to all time top donator. Just type in a type in a random name. I'm gonna type in like Mike, Mikey one two three. Boom, just like that. And then right here it'll pop up Mikey one two three. Um, I'm gonna make that a little smaller, and just drag it in right there. Ah, uh, it went away because it it will um, automatically update if it realizes that you actually don't have a donator called Mikey, uh, Streamlabs will automatically remove it. So that's just like a reference point, I guess, would be the word for that. Like, uh, oh man, it's all messed up now. Let me just go back to my, go back to where it has my Streamlabs. Go back to Streamlabs, shit. Uh, streaming, Streamlabs, there we go. Um, all time top donator. I'm typing Mikey123 again. Hit save. It's gonna pop up. Oh wow, it's really, really, really big. You know what? I'm just gonna hit no. Restart this again. Image GI top donor. I hate when this messes up because it's very difficult to do quickly. All time top donator. And then bada boom. There we go. And now let me go to this one. I'm just gonna type Mikey and Mikey123. Sure, it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to get the size perfect. Top donator, make it a little smaller, and just drag that right there. So that's basically how you do that. I'm gonna make it also a little bit smaller. So if somebody has a long, slightly longer name, it'll fit just like that. Uh, and what also I have now is a message board too. So I can have like monthly uh, stuff like that. So let me hit uh, actually top donator. Let me copy this one, paste it in here as well. Oops. Top donator, copy and paste duplicate. So now I'll have Mikey on both of those, so that'll that'll just stay the same, and it auto updated, so it went away. So you can do stuff like um, if say you have like you want it to show the top donor of the session, you could do like session top donor, and just hit that. Um and just select the font to the font that you want. I'm just gonna leave it. I'll probably have the bada boom again, honestly, and hit read from file, find um, session top donator. So that's like it for the donor for the stream, the top streamer donator. I like to have that one on there so they can see who the highest streamer uh, top donator is for the str current stream that I'm on. So just hit OK for that one. It's gonna pop up right in the corner there. So let's see if we type in session, uh, session top donator. Where is session top donator? Uh, session top donator. Just type in like uh, Billy123. Click OK, there it'll pop up right there. There's Billy123. So you're gonna wanna make that a little small, small like that. Probably give it some more room, just like that. And then you're gonna wanna add a new text file like this and just call it um, session top, I guess. Session top, all one word so you don't get it confused. 
Um, leave the font is Arial. That's what I like to do. And I just put, um, uh, I cut like session, session top donor. Or like day, I'll say daily top donor. Just like that. Click OK. This is going to pop up and it'll be just about this size. Move that up. It's very difficult to see on this screen, but I'm I promise you when you actually like are streaming, it'll look a lot nicer. So it'll be like that and then it'll pop up like straight afterwards. It'll have um, watch if I type in now the, the Billy one, two, three. Session top donor, Billy one two three oh four 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 three four two three four. I mean, um, it'll look like that, and it'll pop up just like that. So you'll be able to have uh, your daily top donors on there now, and then I'll have like add that so it has like a little keyframe so you can actually see it. So you can just do that and you can add more stuff like you can have like let's just go through the list so you can see you can have like session followers like the newest recent most recent followers mo uh, most recent subscribers the top cheer the weekly top donations you have just literally tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff um, it's just super easy like that really stream like <laughs> streamlined uh, no pun intended but it does make it very simple for uh, for streamers to set this up so I hope that uh, video this video has helped you um, if it did make sure you drop a like down below and uh, give this video a thumbs up leave a like and all that kind of stuff and share it um, I don't really know what else to say other than I hope this helped you guys and if you guys want to follow me on twitch I'll link it put a link in the description and I'll put a little uh, twitch link right here so thank you so much for watching I love you guys and peace off Oh. Yeah.